And we're back at 812 with sad news for a beloved sitcom legend. In an exclusive interview with People magazine, Valerie Harper reveals she's battling terminal brain cancer. Here's NBC's Diana Alviar. My name is Rhoda Morvinster. I was born in the Bronx. Valerie Harper needed no introduction. Her star turn as Rhoda won her legions of fans as a sassy single female with a very unique sense of fashion. Her independence and pluck endeared her to millions. And those are the very qualities the 73-year-old actress is relying on in the face of devastating news. Last August, Harper noticed changes in her health. According to People magazine, tests revealed she had an incurable form of brain cancer, one very rare with few options for treatment. It's called leptomeningeal carcinomatosis, a terminal condition where cancer cells spread into the membrane surrounding the brain. Harper tells People she's opted for chemotherapy because I have a fighting chance till I'm gone. America first met Harper in the Mary Tyler Moore show. Hey, how come you didn't call me the second you got home? When she was cast as Mary's upstairs neighbor and best friend Rhoda Morgenstern. Rhoda was so popular, she earned Harper four Emmys and her own successful spinoff. It's a role that so defined her, she titled her memoir, I Rhoda. The character defied convention by living with her boyfriend. And when Rhoda finally decided to tie the knot, it became the stuff of TV legend. Rhoda's wedding was a huge deal. There were parties all across the country to watch the wedding. There were over 52 million viewers. Harper herself has been happily married for 26 years to Tony Cacciotti, with whom she has a daughter. In 2009, Harper beat lung cancer. The actress tells People, she doesn't expect that to happen this time. I'm well past my expiration date already. Still, she has no time for self-pity. I've had a good run, she says. What more can I ask for? Harper says she's busy making plans for the days ahead. Life is amazing, she says. Stay as long as you can. For today, Diana Alviar, NBC News, Los Angeles.